guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Foraging Friday, I'm going to be reviewing a toy that's kind of similar to another toy that I've reviewed, uh, and it's this toy here. I think it's called uh, Space Circles. Uh, sorry if it is hitting stuff, because I usually have it down here in the cage, but the rats like to be recorded up here, so yeah. So anyways, I have it up here right now, and as you can see, the way that it works is they have to push down on one side, and that makes food fall down so that they can get it from this opening right here. Now the main problem, for the rats at least, is that this part right here is actually blocked off, so if they have just a little bit of food down here, they actually have to maneuver it kind of sideways in order to get it to come out the top. So that makes it actually a little bit difficult for them compared to the other one that I've reviewed that's similar to this. Uh, that one I believe was called the Seesaw, and I'll see if I can add some footage of it on screen. But yeah, otherwise they're pretty similar concepts. Uh, I like this one a little bit better because it's a little harder, and I just like how it attaches to the cage a little bit better. Uh, it has this chain, and oh my god, I'm just realizing I put it in the worst spot possible. <laughs> But it has this chain that connects to uh, one of these. Of course, I've used some bird clips to clip it to the top of the cage, but that's a lot nicer than the seesaw one, which is just a straight metal rod. Although again, I use some C-clips to help extend its range. Anyways, other than that, this toy is uh, not too difficult. Uh, it's pretty easy to clean, it's pretty easy to refill. I guess the one downside to cleaning it is if you want to clean out the inside with water, well, that's going to be a bit of an issue to dry because you can't open it up. Uh, personally, I don't tend to clean these out with water, but if you wanted to, that could be a bit of a downside. Otherwise, as you can see, the rats really enjoy getting into it. Um, uh, they're usually pretty good about getting the oxbow out of it. Uh, as you can see, I've put some treats in there because, well, I want to encourage them to actually use it during this video. But they'll use it for oxbow and all sorts of stuff, and they completely empty it out. And like I mentioned, I do usually have it down below where it's not hitting stuff. Oh my gosh, so it's a little bit easier for them uh, just because it's not banging around and it's a little bit less annoying for me to listen to. Oh my god, Bean. Bean, you're insane. Jeez, just chill. Be a chill Bean, okay? Uh, okay, so that's pretty much all I have to talk about for this toy. It's one of my more frequently used bird toys. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I just like how it works, and I like being able to refill it quickly, and the rats use it, so that just makes it a really nice thing to keep in the cage for me. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a happy Friday. Bye!